In the Facebook InDesign user group, someone asked, how do I make images automatically sized to fit frames, both horizontally and vertically? This person has hundreds of images to place and doesn't want to manually fit each one. Now, the obvious answer to that is to use an object style with an auto-fitting option, but that person didn't quite understand that instruction. So I'm going to walk through it showing how to do that. So here, I've got a basic document. Now I'll move this text frame off onto the pasteboard there. And I'm just going to create a bunch of frames. So here is one that is a perfect square. Here's one that's taller than wide. Here's one that's wider than tall. And here are a few different sized squares. These are all just normal frames. Now if I take images, and I'm off screen here, and I'll grab a bunch of headshots that I'm working with for a data merge project that I'm actually building a video course for, and I drop them in, you can see they come in at about their original sizes and they fit differently within the frames. This one up here is centered and it's got empty space in the frame. This one here fits the width but not the height. This one's the opposite. This one also just kind of stuck in the middle, that's stuck in the middle, and these two are pretty clearly cropped off. If I switch to the white arrow and click on the image, you can see how much is cropped off. Same thing with here. Oh, and this one actually is cropped on the sides. Now, if I undo all this, undo placing these images in there, and I'll just clear off my loaded cursor there, I'm back to these graphic frames. I could select one of the frames, right click on it, choose fitting, frame fitting options, and choose auto fit, and then to fill horizontally and vertically, I could fit content to frame, or fit content proportionally, or even fill frame proportionally, depending on my images and the shape of my frames. To answer the question directly, it would be fit content to frame, making the image fit vertically and horizontally without cropping any of the image off. So I'll choose that. Click OK, and now if I bring in an image, I'll drag them back in from off screen here, drop it, and automatically that image is sized up to fill the frame. Even if it's distorted, that's, that's OK. This is exactly the question that was asked. So I'm assuming we're dealing with frames that are largely the same dimensions as the images, or at least the same aspect ratios. But this next one, oh, it's not auto-fitting. Let me clear off that. So instead of having to do this one frame at a time, you can do it all in advance, sort of. Let's get rid of these images. So I'm just going to delete them there. These graphic frames are there. They are all, if you look at the Object Styles panel here, assigned to basic graphic frame. So if I edit this style, and I slide down in the Attributes list here to Frame Fitting Options, I can turn on auto fit and then fit content to frame. This applies it to every frame that is assigned to that object style. Just to be complete, I'll select them all and apply it again. Now, let me take those images from off on my second monitor again, bring them in, and then as I drop each one, it automatically fits to match the dimensions of the frame. It's as simple as that. All you have to do is edit the object style. Now, ideally, you would want to create a separate graphic frame object style for such frames. You wouldn't want to modify the basic graphics frame because every graphics frame in your document is going to be based off of that basic graphics frame object style. However, if the only graphics frames in your document are the ones that need the auto fit attribute, then you can go ahead and edit that one. 